Welcome to our 12th uh, web programming tutorial. Now in this one we're going to create a mail to link. Now this is a very simple thing to do. Now we need a href and I'm going to um, use just a random email address like a random at um, dot com, Oop, just dot com, not dot command, and <coughs> uh, contact us, Oop. and now. There's a little error in this. What we need to do is we need to do mail to and then semicolon. So, or colon, I can't remember which one that is. So now if we run this through, um, save it, and open up your web page, we've got to contact us. Now, I'm going to stop this once I click on it, but if you firstly look down the bottom left of the web page, you can see that it says mail to random at lenknowit.com. Now, once I click on this, it's going to open up my mail address and then it's going to automatically build its own build its own default email with uh, the email address programmed in already. The All I'd need to do is uh, write a subject and send it or write some messages, a message in the body and send it. But that's basic so far. That's basically all it is, but what you might have noticed is that it was about and then contact us. So just to make it a little neater, I'm going to put in a break in there and I'm going to save it again and run. And there we go. Now it's one on top of the other. Again, we're not going to really worry about this. So it'll just create an email to, on, to what I would presume is a dead email address as I have not created it. If someone else has, that's interesting. But... That's all we're covering in this video, it's just a mail to, so if you really wanted to, you can um, create your own web page for your friends to try and you can get them to send you stuff, but aside from that, that this is not really the greatest tool, but I, I enjoy it, and I know a lot of web pages do actually use it, and some obviously prefer it, others would rather you just um, provide their email in plain text so they can then copy it and print it rather uh, copy it rather than just having it automatically open a web program because I do not actually use that uh, the Windows mail that popped up on the screen. So anyway thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and if there are any questions regarding this or other tutorials uh, just let me know. And I'll see you all next time.